The future of this beacon of international cooperation may be in doubt. When the war in Ukraine prompted the West to sever nearly all ties with Russia, the International Space Station was one of the few exceptions. Three, two, one. Now, after more than 20 years of partnership, Russia says it's pulling out. Of course, we will fulfill all our obligations to our partners, but the decision to leave after 2024 has been taken. I think that by that time, we will begin to form a Russian orbital station. And lift off. To many, this move was a surprise. NASA and the Russian Space Agency had only just signed a new agreement to ferry astronauts to the station. In May, the head of the European Space Agency said cutting ties with Russia on the ISS was technically impossible. Both sides are responsible for different technologies on the station, and neither is trained to operate the others without assistance. It's going to cause problems. Um, the, the Russian sort of side of things is in charge of, of several key systems on board the International Space Station. Um, probably one of the most key ones is its propulsion system. So that's the thing that stops it from, because uh, it, it, it's just about in Earth's atmosphere. And over time, its orbit does slowly degrade as it gets closer. And occasionally it needs to get its orbit boosted up again. And um, the Russian segment is responsible for doing that. First through the hatch is Denise Matvia. Since the war in Ukraine broke out, even life in space hasn't gone untouched by the politics of Earth. In April, questions were asked about the Russian crew's choice of spacesuit, which matched the colors of the Ukrainian flag. They denied any hidden messages, but many saw it as a protest against Russia's war. In July, the Russian crew made a much clearer political statement. They posed for photos with the flags of Luhansk and Donetsk, two Russian-backed breakaway regions in eastern Ukraine. It's unfortunate that uh, the politics uh, on the ground have now reached up into space before the ISS was the one common ground that we had where, uh, you know, it was in everyone's interest that it work and we never, neither side used the ISS for uh, these kinds of political posturings for events on the ground. The ISS was first established back in 1998. Research on the station has led to breakthroughs in battling cancer, Alzheimer's and heart disease. Monitoring natural disasters from space has also helped relief efforts here on Earth. But with Russia and China now planning to complete their own space stations in the coming years, a period of space cooperation may be giving way to a new era of space competition. Vincent Monaghan, Al Jazeera.